first time in a very long time, it seems to me. I have a little unboxing for you. This is the Scribbler box, and I have never had it before. Not a once. Don't really know anything about it, except that it's a box made for writers by writers, and the way I know that is because it says so right here. But seriously though, these guys reached out to me on Instagram, and so I thought I'd do a little unboxing here on the old YouTube machine. So, let's get to it. What the heck am I just over here talking about nonsense for? You know, like, hurry up. I will say before we get into this that it is heavier than I anticipated. Curious. All right, well this is kind of exciting. First ever Scribbler box. I don't know, it's pretty fun. All right, ready? Let's do it. <gasps> and it's Halloween themed. <laughs> It was meant to be. Right on top, as you saw, is this little card, and it does have bats on it, which is adorable, and I love it. And on the back, there is a scribbler writing exercise, which is an awesome idea. It says, most fiction novels have three to four parts, with something at the end of each one that raises the stakes. In the space below, jot down a list of ideas that could heighten the stakes for your main character. I just love that. I think it's great to have a little writing exercise even though it's literally a piece of paper with bats on it, to me, that is a lot. Next is this little candle device, which I believe throws flames. That literally, I'm just being weird. It's by Novel Yours Candles. It is called Muse Fuse. Coffee, vanilla, and orange made exclusively for the Scribbler box. So let's give this a little sniff test. Oh, there's glitter. Okay, oh. <laughs> um, smelling candles is dangerous, kids. Don't try this at home. I would not have thought that all those scents would go together, but it is surprisingly well-rounded and smells really nice. I might actually burn it later because I have been burning candles every day this week for some weird reason. I don't know, fall vibes? So next, right on top here, is a skull notebook. A beautiful old school design. Oh my god, a spider was in the back and it fell out. No joke. This tiny spider tried to kill me. And I want that on camera. So it's a little stiff. It's lined paper, just like a typical journal. I have roughly 20 notebooks because people like to just give them to me as gifts. It's a very odd situation. So I have about 20 to go through, so I will add this to my official journal box. But I do love that it's Halloween themed. Next up we have, oh man, flashback. We have a little temporary tattoo and this takes me back when, to when I was a kid in the 90s and the early 2000s and these were like the thing, you know, to have. I don't know, it just seems fun. It says your story matters backwards obviously so that when you put, put it on there and you take it off, science. <laughs> That's insulting. Next is, there's a lot of stuff in here, like dang, there's more than I thought. Next is this mysterious card that says writer magic inside. What could that mean? Let's find out. Exclusive chat with Lindsay Rose, 1 p.m. November 8th. Huh, interesting. This is fun for me because I've literally never had this box before. I've seen a few pictures of unboxings, but I've never really had the full experience. I've never watched an unboxing. So for me, this is really fun. So it sounds like they're doing like an exclusive live chat with on the Scribbler profile, I assume, with Lindsay Rose, who is a senior editor at Grand Central Publishing. So that sounds really fun. Apparently you can ask questions. I'm gonna tune in and see what that's all about and I'll do my best to report back to you on some form of social media. That sounds really cool. I like that this is really, so far, an actual resource for writers because I think a lot of boxes just get caught up in like the hype of having a bunch of little things in there, just things that sit on a shelf. I like actionable things and I feel like this is a nice way to reward the community that they're growing so I love that. I'm gonna check it out and see how it goes. Plus it has a skull on it so we're staying on theme which I always appreciate. I just like everything's cute you know like this came in a cute little envelope everything's themed. There is more. That's like five things already and most boxes stop there let's be honest so there's more to go. Oh, look at this. A writing passport plotting, volume eight. There's other volumes. Whoa. This is like a resource they made, volume eight, with like helpful things in it about writing. This is like a really cool box. I'm addicted to this box already. So tons of like cool little notes in there. Enjoy the process. 
Uh, it looks like there's some nice, you know, writing as a writing a novel is a brave and difficult thing to do. Nice quotes and um, standouts and helpful advice. Very cool. And yes, there's still more to go. Like we're still going. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I held it upside down and I got really confused. It says, we who make stories know that we tell lies for a living. And it is um, Neil Gaiman. I'm, I say his name wrong literally every time. And it doesn't matter how many times someone tells me to say it the proper way. I say it the wrong way. So however I just said it is probably wrong. And we should just accept that and move on. I shall keep with my tradition of unboxings and wear whatever I can. That's how I roll. Ta-da! Okay, so next up is um, more little pins and just am writing, tell your story, little and symbol. So that's just cute. It says limited edition buttons. So I really love pins. I prefer pins. If there was a battle between pins and buttons, I think pins would win. But I think this is just a fun little thing to throw in the box with something fun to wear for the month. So that's cute. This is crazy how much stuff there is. So, oh look, publishing process, inside look. Wow, this is pretty cool. So it looks like they're featuring an author for the month because it looks like this handy passport has information from Robert Brinza's book, The Night Stalker, and that this is the same thing. So that's cool, I like that. One author, a writer helping out another one. I think that's awesome. I'm all about that, as you know. Very cool things in here. Man, I think I am very impressed with this box right now. Very impressed. So it looks like we've reached the end and there is a um, signed nameplate and a copy of the book, The Night Stalker by the same author who included these cute things. I think that's really cool. I like that they're including something. Part of me wishes this was like a, a writing help book, but I think that this makes it a cool way to celebrate authors and then you can look at his resources that he's included and how that actually turned out in a book. So I actually think that's pretty cool. There are two more things in here. One is Save the Cat Writes a Novel, which I've heard really good things about. How to write a book in 15 steps, just like bare notes minimum outline here, which is pretty cool. Gives you an idea if you wanna get the book. And then just a coupon for half price books. I'm very impressed with this box. It really is for writers, from writers. I think that that is very, very cool. I appreciate that this is more than just a box with a bunch of stuff in it. And they've really included a lot of resources in here. So not it's not just fun and cute stuff. It's helpful resources. It's a book, a signed nameplate, and then on top of that, tons of other goodies, a little writing exercise. I don't know why I'm relisting everything like I just showed you, but you get the point. There's a lot going on in this box and I'm very surprised by that. It did feel heavy, which surprised me. And now I know why. It was just packed full of great stuff. For not having unboxed anything in a while, this has been really fun. I'm very impressed with this box. I have done a lot of unboxings in the past and it's a very saturated market now. It is every time I turn around, there's a new subscription box. So I try to be really careful about which ones I accept. I'm definitely glad that I accepted this one. I have seen it around on Instagram. I know that it's popular. And so I'm just excited to get to experience it. And it did not let me down. This exceeded my expectations, which is always a cool thing to say. So thank you so much to the Scribbler team. This has been a very cool experience. So glad to try it. And I can't wait to see what's in next month. If you liked this video, do me a favor and give it a huge thumbs up and leave me a comment below because I love talking to you guys. Are you a writer or have you ever envisioned yourself writing a book? Let me know. Thanks so much for watching. If you want more bookishness, whether it's book reviews, book lists, TBRs, book hauls, unboxings like this one, go ahead and press that subscribe button. I'd love to get to know you better. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.